and welcome to this episode of All Sem 1M. I'm Florence John Duo. We now take you up to Mendi in the Southern Highlands province and feature the work of UNICEF and UN Women in terms of child-friendly safe spaces, water sanitation and hygiene, nutrition and safe spaces for women and children. First up, the WASH program at Topa Primary School. The Papua New Guinea Water Sanitation and Hygiene or WASH Policy 2015 embodies the commitment to sustainably improve the quality of people's lives in both rural and urban areas of PNG through the provision of clean and safe water for drinking, sanitation and hygiene behavior change. However, there is still much work to be done in this regard throughout the country. UNICEF Papua New Guinea is one of many organizations that provide support to WASH in schools. Topa Primary in Karins in the Southern Highlands Province is one of the many beneficiaries to UNICEF's promotion of safe usage of toilets, safe drinking water and hand washing. I'm really relieved with the four new construction of the four new uh, permanent toilets because uh, in the last 20 or so years we've been using uh, pit toilets which were very unhygienic to our student population and also including the teachers, uh, parts of the surrounding communities were also affected by it. So we are really happy to have uh, these four toilets from the uh, uh, UNICEF. During the uh, disaster, the earthquake, we normally uh, receive water through water supply, which has been uh, constructed by the former member for many, uh, Dekewanu. But uh, they all have been damaged due to the earthquake. So I think I'm very thankful to UNICEF and the UN for setting up two water tanks. Uh, UNICEF in particular has been spending some huge towards the school. And uh, I'm very thankful because uh, the people here were also being affected. But then the UNICEF and other UN organizations came in to assist all of us. Now we are very happy uh, to receive them. They'll be here till towards the end of this year, 2018. And we will work, to the, uh, work, uh, work with them, making sure that uh, more facilities will be uh, set in this school, Topa Primary School, so that uh, uh, other surrounding communities can also come in to learn as much as, uh, much as possible from Topa Primary School. Students of Topa Primary School told us of their stories of what it was like before having access to safe toilets and water for drinking as well as washing their hands. These are some things that are taken for granted in urban schools but means a lot for students in rural areas. Last time we've been making great three na going up like great na all thing na bad na all just like new shape na bad all no sabo lo mi bad time mo sa mi plan mo sta upright na all kam na mi plan simol wara good na mi plan all toilet na bad pu mi plan using good na mi plan sila kam na mi plan sta upright mi plan to thing just great lo mi plan kam el bi mi plan last time mi plan been working great three kam na bad Grade four, five, come on, in school one blah, blue school na. No at all, man to look so. Walk in grade seven time, blah, no look one blah. Sign block, toilet, kind of same. Mibla, a mamma's law. Unicef come build him toilet, come build him tank, water, mibla, same service law, Unicef. These students are taking hygiene practices very seriously. They have established a hygiene club, which will be monitoring hygiene practices in the school. Hygiene club, I'm saying. Pamla Lenimol Man Mary or Narabla Pigini Hoblo washing hand. 
The hygiene club members demonstrated the right way to wash one's hands. Okay, first hand blow dirty. Okay, all open him tap the water. All wash him hand blow one the water. Okay, then all pass him tap the water. Okay, now I'll rub him soap. Rub him soap. Rub him soap finish. Wash him fingernail. Brush him fingernail. You can add up the fingernail. Finish. Outside, inside. Wash him. Okay, finish. Open him water. Okay, rinse him. You're watching all same one M. We now talk about how UNICEF through its child-friendly safe spaces is helping small children who may still be suffering from stress, fear and anxiety as a result of what they have witnessed when the earthquake struck. Through child-friendly safe spaces in crisis or post-crisis situations, as in this case, the massive earthquake that hit the Southern Highlands province, UNICEF is providing educational equipment and materials to re-establish learning and recreational activities to help children with stress, fear and anxiety. Its aim is to support the resilience and well-being of children through structured activities conducted in a safe and child-friendly environment. Okay, in Bloodshla program, Mosem, disaster been come up. Now, this disaster has been back up in Mosem. All ground blowing blind, assembly, all tinting, all picking blowing blind, been foul little. Now, all no, Mosem, some good blood tinting. So, this lab people like helping all, all by tinting good, all by behave good, or some run long all. Behind long all about stabbing go, me blah like help him all picking it where all awesome some blah all papa mama no got long and all calm long and we stab us all me blah like help him all now me blah like stab one them all. Small children gather in this safe space on a daily basis and do various activities, which will help in the foundation for preparation to starting their formal education, as well as early child development. Cut up long all and me blah like starting one them me blah like baited. So I bless a pray past them, Lord Big Man by helping me blah all pini, but me blah back some along and okay Lord is lap pinis and me blas uh working all some black creative dance number, or some all finger play, lo making all or some interest, lol bust up. Okay after this lag, I mean blas uh some all drawings number, na me blas uh play one time all all toys number, all boxes, puzzles, for puzzles. Some last time, some more free, but some boring time. It was a talk story one time all. But finish the Islam, it was a go outside, play ball. Now, learn him all, all about behave good. All on a fight, or big head. Now, all about stuff or something. The number of children coming to the child-friendly safe space is increasing daily. They started off with less than 20 children, but now they have reached over 50 children. Children's behaviors upon observations by the UNICEF volunteers are changing daily, to which they say is good. I look at the program, and come and help us straight along my plan and change him. Plan to pick in any way, will be drama, lot time, lot disaster. And I plan to assist him all, and look at the all will change slightly. Plan to all be the same, all be stop, sit, so look, look strong. I'm all now look like making something or semi plus I'm making. I'm come up in big platines. Now me plan looking this last school or same. Look future this last school and bar. 
help him plant the pikinini law, all by saving something in Kamlo, future of long haul. Another such child-friendly space is at Kundaka Elementary. Their buildings were destroyed by the earthquake and they are rebuilding with help from UNICEF. This is elementary school. I've been in the middle of the double classroom. Low upside, na low here, this last side. Na time eight koi ki kam up upside the mid puntan. Mi play eight walk him this new black classroom. Play em bagra plongan mi play bin walk him na. Okay, mi play enroll him all liglig pikini ni. Mi play save toka child friendly spacing. Na em one year he go finish longa six five to six years number. Mi play enroll him lo here lo two black classroom na. Lo two black classroom am all elementary stuff. UNICEF M come give me a two toilet. We unload this place. We set him out the this place building here. Lo kiss him water tank. Na tank M M ready stop. Me place by close to kiss him water. Na this place building too. Me place kiss him. M UNICEF give me a place. So tenga me place talk thank you on this place. Welcome back to the program. When it comes to health and nutrition, Papua New Guinea is the poorest performing country in the East Asia Pacific region. Mothers in Southern Highlands Province were privileged to have access to awareness on nutrition and how important it is for their children. <laughs> According to surveys over the last 15 years, the nutritional status of children under 5 years in PNG has not improved. In rural areas, there is a high prevalence of underweight children under 5 years. UNICEF is supporting government efforts to focus on newborn care and nutrition. They are carrying out advocacy work for parents as well as providing nutrient supplements to children as featured here in Topa, Southern Highlands Province. When a child is uh, born babies, we recommend for early introduction of uh, breastfeeding, which uh, should happen within the first one hour of birth because it is a life-saving intervention. The colostrum that the babies uh, are getting is a very good start and it is a very good foundation for them. In the first six months also, we emphasize for exclusive breastfeeding and that means breastfeeding alone, not even adding water, or anything. It's just breastfeeding alone for the first six months. When the children reach six months, it then means that uh, breast milk is no longer enough. So what happens is that uh, we encourage mothers to appropriately introduce um, uh, complementary food. So these foods that we have here, for example, we teach the mothers on even how to cook them. Because now one of the things that is a plus here in Papua New Guinea is that we have uh, high productive farms, you don't have to buy anything from the shop, so we teach them on how to meet the minimum dietary diversity requirements for good growth because that is a time when the children are growing uh, rapidly, they are developing and they need good diet. In addition to that also we encourage mothers to continue breastfeeding at least up to two years. So that is more or less like the community and the preventive component. So one other thing also that we do is that we screen for bad nutrition, what we call malnutrition, and we have a basic uh, ways that we screen, like for example using the tape that is called mid-upper arm circumference, in which anyone who has been trained can use. So the tape has more or less like uh, ways to show if a child is, is malnourished, like for example when it, is, uh, when it is passed through the left arm and it is on a red, it shows that the child has a life-threatening malnutrition. So we have uh, different ways of more or less like providing intervention. So part of it is also to treat now the bad type of malnutrition, which is in the red mainly and also in the yellow. So we have um, therapeutic foods that we use to make sure that now children are 
more or less like recovering from that life-threatening malnutrition because what happens is that uh, any child who has either the red and even the yellow malnutrition is 12 times more at a risk of dying as compared to a child who's normal so these are high priority children in terms of our care so and we already have over 600 children in our program in southern highlands and around 20 children right now here so we take them through a regimen which takes around um, one to two months for them to recover very well but in addition to that also we make sure that we also teach the mothers appropriate infant and young child feeding so that now we avoid also them relapsing and then coming back and being malnourished again so we strengthen also the community component of appropriate feeding so in addition to that also as a preventive component we also provide vitamin A supplementation to any child that is more than six uh, months to 59 months. In addition to that also as a preventive component, especially since now many diets don't have now enough nutrients to meet now the recommended dietary in allowances, we also provide micronutrient powder. So this is a mix of micronutrient powder that when uh, put into the food, it makes now the food more diverse and able to meet the requirements, especially for a growing child. So these are very simple interventions which mothers can do very well and very easily at home. In addition to that also, we provide also uh, albendazole. This is deworming. Uh, because now what happens, uh, because of the poor hygiene that we have in the community, we are also trying as much as possible to make sure that the food that the children consume, all of it is used to benefit the child. All you know, good luck and plant the seeds that come up. For instance, from conception time, the mama is carrying the plant, and we got bell, and start look carrying bell. And I don't know, good luck, this last six, 13 years that come inside, where I'm affecting brain blong all. Now, IQ blong all, and we back her up. So I'm this love where you know got marasin. Since it's like program like IYCF come in said, me plus a game strong plot talk talk, strong plot talk talk that kai kai blow garden and me number one kai kai blow life blow mama. Susu blow mama and me number one kai kai blow beginning because all got a marasin and stuff in said lots like susu blow mama. You going up blow two years now and baby kai kai want them so susu mama like continue and like blow and blow continue but susu blow mama and very very important. So me plus are strong in because time you look look like Southern Highlands, me plus got good like kai kai but education and me no stop. Understanding them no stop too much. Long old mama low place. So time only cooking all kai kai. But you look at some all by adding all plenty of kai kai plus two hours are go inside. Like cooking oil na. All by mixing kai kai na. You know cooking good. Now how lo give him, when lo give him, amount lo give him. And my mama lo bless or still all no understand yet. In order to address the lack of understanding among mothers in rural areas, UNICEF has trained village health volunteers to help tackle nutrition problems. We have a network of village health volunteers who are all through uh, the Southern Highlands province and also Hela province. We have a total of 81 of them who are now uh, offering house-to-house uh, -house nutrition services, creating that awareness. The mothers expressed that they are grateful as the information imparted to them is very helpful when it comes to good nutrition for the children. Before meeting with Samuel Mama Bin Staplungan, I also give him kai kai. I know some, you know, almost I give him a lot of time. Now, any cake you can give him. That's all now, to know this love and this. Miss Awesome, I display one name, this like a game, good well, all picking in, one name, and one good look, all picking in by cake and a low one name, right time, all by cake and a dislike. Now, to know this love and this and begin. Before him, we plan us out, so can you leave baby or send us seven months picking in? Before him, four months time, plus again. Kegel old baby, but now in all this la universe, ah uh, UNICEF come na uh, all to give me kegel la time blow only yet or say six months. This la time I'm not giving kegel na. Now I'm giving susu yet, now I'm giving kegel yet. Na all this la line come na before him, I say me plan to save la have la cooking kegel na give me all picnic ni na. I say me plan to make myself a tassel. Now I'm all giving me plan school good na. Me plan to save la have la cooking kegel na give me all picnic ni. Conclude our program, we feature Safe Spaces for Women and Children, a program set up by the UN Women.
women and children experience and fear various forms of violence in both urban and rural areas. The program is basically concerned about power, power dynamics. Uh, when uh, you have power, like if you have money, if you have gun, if you have uh, wealth and social influence, then you more or less suppress another person. So basically women and children are most affected because of power imbalances. So uh, given the crisis, the uh, earthquake, uh, the 7.5 magnitude earthquake, uh, actually women and children are worse off given the disaster itself. So UN women decided to come in to support women and children by creating what they call a uh, safe space for women. As an intervention process in response to the earthquake affected areas in Southern Highlands and Hela provinces, seven local level government areas have been selected to establish safe spaces for women and children. Uh, Karins is one of them because uh, we had uh, three people actually died from this uh, disaster. And uh, Karins is one which is uh, Topa is located. Uh, we have Kumin for our pilot in area that's in Mendi. And uh, we have uh, Pombrel in uh, Nipa. And we have uh, Pimaga in uh, Kutubu LG. And uh, these are the five areas for Southern Islands. And also we have uh, uh, five in uh, Hela. So what we are doing is to set up a center so that they feel safe to come. And we give messages like uh, how to get prepared during times of disaster, like uh, any disasters at all, not earthquake alone. And uh, at the same time, uh, uh, we talk about uh, women facing family domestic violences, yeah. uh, gender-based violence. Uh, we are looking at uh, uh, this center is also there to at least support them and to provide uh, psychosocial support, uh, basic counseling, so that they, they could at least identify their own solutions and then be of uh, good uh, yeah, mental situation before they get, go back to the villages. The safe spaces have community mobilizers who are based at the centers to assist women and children who go there for help. Four are basically based at the center here and if women if they are domestically abused or whatever violence or rape or anything they come here and they, it's closer to the health service here and they uh, promote the referral pathway and uh, show them the referral pathway to go and seek justice and go to hospitals all the stuff and at the same time uh, yeah one-on-one -on -one counseling or group counseling, all the stuff here, they do all these things. Constable Kemawawa, who is attached with the Family and Sexual Violence Unit at Mendi Police Station, said women and children go to them seeking help almost on a daily basis. In Southern Islands, I should say, there are so many mothers. Not only mothers, but women, girls, they come to the office. So... In a day, let's say in a day, because every day there are so many women, it's not only women but men as well. They flood in a day, it's, we attend to, let's say, 30 a, a day, 30 complaints a day. When they come to the office, they, com they come with, mostly they came with bruises, they sustain physical injury, I mean abuse they come to us so most of them they don't go to the hospitals when they get injuries they come straight to us thinking that we police we give them all the support constable kemawawa emphasized that they are aware of the referral pathways so they help the people who come to them for help as a result of the un women intervention program to help survivors i especially as an individual, I am very happy that the UN group, they came and they gave us so many things that they educate us to how to go about with the survivors, especially mothers and children, young girls. And therefore, they have established um, the new office here, this family section family and sexual violence unit in the police department so that we can sit with the survivors and we look to how to deal with their problems specifically. Reiterating Constable Kemawawa's statement is Village Court Magistrate Barbara. Probably violence that's all there. Plan the truth. Some people 
Je prends pas cette lime longue, je prends ça avec. Je vais prendre pour Oda, pour six Oda. Na au Burkina Faso, je prends ça dix fois une marée de blanc tout. Na t'as mis pas l'ouvrir là, puis qui n'est ni il dit qu'il est. Hein, je prends ça dix fois une marée de blanc. Hein, je prends ça strongi morgan. Je vais ma préventive Oda, na je prends ça togi mor. Quand même na, si dans change une passe une blanc, man na meri one time na. Si dans good na, comme avec good la pemdi na ça. Je prends ça, je vais Oda qui est là, il compte. And that's all the time we have for you on this week's episode of All Sem 1M. Until next week, if you have any comments or stories you would like to share with us, please send us an email via the address now showing on your screen or post it on our All Sem 1M Facebook page. Until then, I'm Florence John Duo. On behalf of the entire All Sem 1M team, thank you for watching and have a pleasant evening.